Hey collective, hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to my channel, I set set my new y'all, that's with a nine, all the way closed up y'all. Hey there everybody, I just wanted to hop on for a minute, um, just to say thank you guys to, uh, you know, first and foremost for all of your click likes and your shares. You know, all of the people who done looked at the videos and y'all sharing this journey with me. It's so it's so important to me. I want you to know that. Okay? Please understand, overstand that. Y'all are so important to me. Let me pull this table up some. Yeah. Um, y'all just so important to me. You know, you you y'all my some of for some of y'all, y'all my everything right now. I just have to say that. I mean, I, that's just how important you are. I love you to the moon and back. Okay, that's for somebody out there. I really do. I love you to the moon and back. You know, uh, y'all are more than enough. You know, some time in my life. Y'all just right now, you know, in this season, y'all just so, I mean, and I just want y'all to stay with, I want us to stay connected. Maybe one day we'll, some of us will get a chance to meet and things like that, you know, and on different platforms, you know, I always said they need to have more uh, things for spiritual people like us to be able to meet and greet, you know, it's so important sometimes, even though, you know, we play in a, we're in a spiritual world in our lives and in our minds and hearts and stuff. I call it a uh, 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 quantum entanglements. We have those things, you know, and going on in our lives. So we got to be careful. Again, we fight against a lot of principalities and powers in high places as spiritual people uh, because we have those uh, ancestors and guides of the most highest divine light in all kind of areas of this space, uh, in space, I'm getting them say, thank you guys for being here. Uh, yeah, all I have to do is mention their name, just mention the, uh, uh, the galactic, the celestial, and it's, 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 uh, it's just present there, you know? I mean, it's beautiful, y'all. It's just a beautiful thing, you know, to have an oracle essence, to have a, a, a essence of, uh, you know, just a coastal type of a vibe. You know what I'm saying, y'all? You know, I don't want to get off of the, um, get off into that too much, but it's good energy, y'all. Okay, it's really good energy out here for somebody. For somebody, um, we gonna get into the message, but I'm telling you, just understand your ascent that was the first card that came out before getting on with understand in 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 the in the in the message i should say let me just say that with this message okay it's a message out here for somebody okay this is what i'm this is what i'm filled with this is that over there that's involved okay that's involved in this message right here cuz see the whole essence of it that's a, it's, it is a um, two 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 message for somebody a twenty two twenty two message for somebody and I also saw uh, in my communications with the divine uh, I also saw keys and scrolls and um, and and things like that okay in this message for somebody so in other words you know that is sent. It is a. It's gonna allow you something, okay? And it's and it's it's being given to you by great forces. That's for somebody, okay? Great, great forces. Y'all don't worry about these nails. I finally found out here somebody that can fill them in for me. That's pretty good. So where I'm out, where I'm at. So it's okay. And yes, for the ones that wanted to know if I made it safely. To my destination. Yes, I did. Thank you, Mighty Master. Thank you for those prayers that's being sent out there for me. I want to thank you guys a heck of a heck of a heck of a lot. I see 424 on the clock. Mm hmm Yeah, this is a 222 message. That's what they came in on, along with a few other uh, angelic um, orbs, oracles, however you want to say it, but they came in with keys and scrolls, and it was forces that brought them for this mess to, to me to deliver this message to somebody out there who are in a an, a an ascent. Okay, you are in an ascent. You've been initiated by a higher power, 
and uh, to go on paths unknown in your life. Your Akashic field is full of forces. This is for somebody, okay? Specifically, a lot of water forces, okay, as well. Your grandmothers is involved in this message as well, ancestor grandmothers, okay? These are the spirit messages from a grandmother, okay? From the grandmothers, those forces. Now, with those forces, okay? Because we know that the woman make man, okay? We do have lots of scrolls written in plain sight, okay? For you to just pick up on this intuition, okay? You have the power of uh, the person who I'm talking to, who this message is for, you have the power to know certain things. That's for somebody. Now, first, before we get started, collective, um, I want to talk about those uh, keys for a minute, okay? Those keys represent value. They represent wealth. They rep represent success. They represent truth and abundance your career and authority in your career, authority uh, figures in your career. It represents confidence and achievement. When I say those authorities in your career, I'm talking about the ones who are looking at you uh, as a leader, okay? That's what we're just going to say. And uh, those keys also represent power, okay? And these are things that you are going to experience it or you are experiencing more of in your life okay as expressions i'm getting the forces say of your obedience and also of your you being humbled by a lot of things in this life so the keys that you're being given is a part of your ascent that's for somebody for somebody i was getting isaiah 22 and 22 as well Okay, regarding the Bible revealing uh, that keys represents and means true knowledge and trustworthiness and authority. Okay, for somebody. Now, in Isaiah 22, 22, it tells us, And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. Okay, now this is in the Lamsa translation, okay. To lay a key upon one's shoulder instead of in, a, in, a, in the head reflects the responsibility that person can sh uh, shoulder in life. Keys are given only to those with the authority to use them. You understand that? Okay. Now, that's what I saw. It's a lot of keys being given to somebody. For somebody, you just got a new car. For somebody you looking for one and you or you need one and you're going to get it. Okay. For somebody else, you know, you've been, uh, uh, you know, you then lost one and you thinking that you ain't going to get another one, but you are. Okay. If you at this, if you on this message, if you are a person who is receiving this message today, this message is for you. Okay, if you are a cross watcher, this message is for you as well, because I do have a message for you as well. That's the ones that oppose the authority of God's ability to um, protect our Akashic field for someone. Yeah. To protect our Akashic field. And he's the first and the last. Okay. That's just for someone. Okay, so I do have a message, a small message for you, because it's faded if you hear. You know that. That energy going to come out. And for somebody else, yes, I do curse. I channel energy, and that energy sometimes is, is, oh, my goodness, is down home. That's all I can tell somebody. It's down home uh, blues for someone, okay? It, it's just simply that. All right. For somebody else, this morning you've been reflecting in your phone, looking at old pictures and stuff like that, looking at old videos, laughing and things like that, because you're looking at yourself. You're looking at yourself from uh, from now to maybe you go all the way back to just about five years, 
you know, five, maybe ten years. You've been looking at old videos and pictures of yourself, you know, just as long as probably Google or Facebook been around and some of the other social media sites. But you're looking at yourself. You're looking at how you've grown. For somebody, you're looking at, you know, how you changed. And for somebody, you're just looking at it as motivation, you know. You look at those pictures as motivation, you know. I mean... I, I mean, for somebody, they make you cry, they make you laugh, you know, when you look at them. And for some of y'all, y'all deleting a lot of that shit. That's just for somebody. You deleting a lot of it because it's a part of your past. You don't need it no more. You don't even need to hear it no more. You don't want to look at it or nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, they were videos that y'all deleted. Yeah. Yeah, they were videos. You took them out of there, that phone. You don't want to see that no more. You know, you don't want to look at the person, hear the person's voice or anything like that. It's over with, right? This is for someone. This is how you feel. You're on an ascent, okay? The light around you right now is an, is an ascension, right? That's just what it is. From unknown paths, things like I said, a lot of the videos you looked at, or that you look at and pictures that you look at for who I'm getting, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just moving. I'm feeling the and trying to get the energy in here, okay? I want to, I want to make it plain to y'all because this is a very important message for someone. For somebody, these scrolls and these keys, okay, are setting the course for you. This information, okay, for somebody is forbidden. That's why you being watched, followed, your phone being tampered with and things like that. And for somebody else, you know, it's just a path of the unknown for you. It's a part of God's, um, uh, uh, your mission, I should say, you know, his will for some spiritual pe uh, religious people who might be here, his will for your life. Okay. What he wrote in for you. Right. Okay. Now. All right. And if you don't believe that it's a great architect, uh, a real big time artist, right. Who can draw in things and erase them and who can bring forth things and things like that, you know, faded, like faded meetings, and things of that nature for you, you know, great relationships and connections for somebody else, okay? Then that's that's on you, but I think you should open your heart and not harden it so that you can receive the gifts in, the, uh, in your ascensions and in your awakening, I should say, that you deserve. This is for someone. It ain't for everybody, okay? But there's no need to worry. I must tell you this. There's no need to worry about anything because Mother Earth, Grandmother Earth, Mother Sky, Grandmother Sky, however you want to say it, okay, the ones that, again, they make men, okay? We make men. That's for the divine feminine, okay? That's a message for you. Yeah, we make them, baby. Yep, so don't worry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you have any children, okay, for somebody, you know, uh, sons or whatever, you know, you, you're very protective over them. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, very protective. But, yeah, I want to uh, definitely uh, welcome the 222 right now. Thank you. Thank you, 222, for being here. Thank you so very much for being here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ancestors of the highest, most divine light, I thank you. Yes. Yes, and I ask you all to come into this message so that I can give this message the way that we discussed it to be given. Mm -hmm. And then I allow you guys to, uh, and I do sit, I must say that, we must sit, y'all, and be seated. Court is always in session, okay? We seekers, that's who I'm talking to, the seekers, that's what they said. This is for the seekers, yeah. Those who understand their higher self, okay? Okay, they higher self in the spirit world, okay, uh, within them, okay? They understand the Akashic forces, okay? They receive invitation, that's to someone, okay, to converge at this moment. You know, I, 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 I ask you, ancestors, I give you guys invitation to converge in this session with me. That's for somebody, 1440 on the clock, that's for somebody. Um, yeah, in the open up universal uh, records and responses 
for me. Okay? Yes, yes, I ask you all to help guide me in this message that I receive. Y'all invitation as well to be given a, 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 a protection for the divine uh, feminine mass. Okay? As well as myself. Yes, protect us. Protect us, protect us, protect us. Oh yeah, everything that's not of you, we want it to fall down. We want it to go on, on up out of here. It can't, it can't thrive. That's what I'm getting. It can't thrive. It ain't going to make it, right? Oh, yeah, because see, right now, collector, for somebody, uh, you know, the people of the minor uh, are kind of, you know, they, 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 just, they just don't like, they don't like this ascent you on. They don't like the fact that they can't, they can't block your spirit messages, collective. They don't like that, okay? But there's no need to worry because, again, you're, you're, you're setting a course. Your ancestors are setting a course of the course. You see that? They're clearing things. This is for somebody. Yeah, they setting a course, okay? You see that? And they're clearing things for you, right? They're clearing the way, all right? That's just, I'm just telling you, that's what's happening. You see that car looks almost as if that car is not even on the ground. Okay, that house and and and, and things like that, cause that's what it looked like. It looked like a car for somebody. Y'all about to, somebody about to get a car. Mm hmm. Something with a car there. Yeah. But I just want y'all to know it's a waterfall of blessings coming for somebody. Given by the forces. Okay, unforeseen forces that these people ain't stronger than. Okay. During this ascension, in this time of blessing for you. Okay, or this one that's coming. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. For somebody, you in between two worlds. That's just how it go. You in between two worlds. But I'm telling you, in both of them, you are the, you are the queen of scrolls. I'm just saying. In both of them, that's who you are. You're the queen of scrolls in these worlds, in these two worlds. And that's because your Akashic field is protected. Okay, it's protected. It's protected because it's a certain thing you must do. In this lifetime, and for one of and one of them is, uh, you know, I mean, all of them is very important because it's three big ones. But what I'm getting is the one of them that one that's happening right now that's a part of that ascent for someone. Okay, it's a part of that ascent for somebody. What I'm getting for you is, uh, you know, it's. It, it's just you right where you're supposed to be. That's what I'm getting. I'm saying, tell them that they right where they're supposed to be. Okay, they standing on top of a mountain. You understand me? And you 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 in a you in a place. Okay, that look out. That's the that's the that's a bright sun up in there. Okay, I'm just telling somebody. You're making great efforts. It took a lot to get to the top. Of that mountain that you're standing on right now. You should be proud, I'm hearing them say. Of them keys that you was given. That information, that hope. You understand that divine intervention that took place. You should be happy that you made it there. That's what I'm getting them say. That that light shined on you, okay? As you took that leap of faith. That's what I see of with that person standing on that mountain up there. Finally making it to the top. It was rocky. You understand? Just like the rocks that made that form, that mountain. They were rocky. But you're there. You understand? You did. You reached the top. You took the risk. That's what I'm getting them say. You understand? For somebody, there could be some type of promotion or some type of advance or something that's about to happen again. It's advancing something. Like I said, you have advanced. Okay? Which has allowed for an initiation, okay, of of uh, into an ascension of spirit world of some type of new beginning, some type of change, okay. You've been called in to the elders in the higher realms. That number fourteen, that's a five. Something is going to change in your life significantly, okay. And you don't know that it's coming, but it is. It's a part of your records, your Akashic records. It was written in the skies and in the stars long before your birth. That's what I'm getting them say. It kind of has set the stage, okay. It kind of has, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's set the course for some things, okay, to take place. 
But at the end of the day, you got there. That's all I'm telling somebody. Okay? You have been put in a much higher position. Your situation is about to improve. That's what's about to happen. Your situation is going to improve. You don't have to worry about uh, what might feel slow. Your money can feel be feeling kind of slow right now. Or, you know, something could be feeling kind of stagnated. I don't know. But those are not your energies for somebody. That's not you. 2020 on the clock. Yeah, that's not you. For somebody, you have to over under, overstand right now. Okay? That what's happening in you ain't just luck. Okay? There's a, or, or external, uh, you know what I'm saying? Understand that. It ain't just luck. This this causing some things to happen or this finna happen in your life. You've been initiating into a higher calling. Okay? Some people is watching you that's very, very powerful. That's what I'm getting them saying. Yeah. They want you to keep your effort strong, your ancestors right now. I'm getting instead of being passed by, you climb the, to the limp, to the highest heights. Those people that thought you was going to be passed up or they was going to, you know, you was going to slip and fall. Yeah. You was going to worry yourself to pieces. You was going to lose your motherfucking mind. That's what I'm getting them say for somebody. Okay. I'm just saying. As you clamped. As you got through. That's what I'm getting. The ascent has occurred. Okay. The Akashic force in this ascension. Is there is a goal. That's high above you. Your ancestors put this goal inside of you. You understand me? They gave you this vision. It's a part of your ancestry bloodline. You understand me? It's it's it's, it's a part of I'm getting them say um uh your reparations uh in your family line bloodline. You understand? It's them creating reparations for you as well. Okay, to free you up for you to do this thing that you have to do. This is a spirit message for somebody. Yeah. You have to climb a steep hill to get where you are. You have to go through a lot. This is for somebody. Oh, yes, uh, 2022 on the clock. Oh, yeah, 2020, 2220 I saw on the clock. That's what I meant. But it was 222. Yeah, that's what this is. This is for somebody. Oh, yeah. It's about them keys that you're being given right now in the spirit realm. Oh, yeah. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah, they fucking with my light on my camera right now. But that's okay. For somebody, I just want y'all to know. I want to, that the energy that I'm getting right now is for, uh, for you to just stay meditating. Stay in a meditating state. You understand? Stay filled and uh, filled up with positive energy and 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 and, uh, and and positive thought right now in this season. Be enthusiastic about the little things. Get excited about the small triumphs. I'm just saying because this goal that's been put inside of you is going to apply pressure to a lot of motherfuckers that I like I said they counted you out collective. I'm just saying. Your ancestors said you didn't ask yourself what steps you had to take. You remember the steps. You know the steps. That's what I'm getting. You know what steps it took to, to climb that mountain to get up there. You know what you had to do, right? And for somebody, it was to leave a lot of the past behind. Uh, that's one of your biggest weapons. It was to get sight. It was one of your biggest ones to walk away. It was to be silent, remain silent for somebody else. And for somebody, it was both of them. Okay? That's how you got up there. You conserved that energy and that breath, baby. That saved your life. Instead of wasting it on, I'm just saying, people that wasn't listening anyway. They didn't believe in you. They didn't think you can get up there no way. They didn't think you can do anything besides fail. Okay? A lot of them plotted your falling. I'm just saying. But see, that path unknown, that's why that fell up under there, okay? Up under the ascension, okay? After the initiation happened. See what I'm saying? See, that path unknown came there. Part of the whole part of your field, though. The same time. I'm just saying. For somebody, I got to say it again. 
the situation is going to improve. I'm just saying. Ain't no need to worry. That's all I'm telling you. It's going to improve. You are involved in a level up right now. It's, it, it's just that simple. And you got people right now losing their goddamn mind trying to see how they how they can give you a hard time. And how they can cause delays. Oh yeah, for somebody. Yeah, I know you're here watching my channel. Yeah, big time. I know you are. Without a shadow of a doubt. But you're supposed to be here, okay? Because you fuel a fire inside of me. That's what you do. And my ancestors. You okay? You fuel a fire, Okay? And then other things happen and other things happen. And, and again, collective, we steady ascent. You get it? We steady be given initiations. I'm just saying. We steady channel. Yeah. Them entanglements. Uh, sparkle a little bit brighter. That's for someone. Yeah. You are experiencing an initiation. An ascension. You didn't do anything. You was just locked out of some shit. And then some other doors opened up. And somebody you got you got you got you got teams that uh that took you in in a galactic way, in a celestial way. That's what happened for somebody. They took you and they say, Come on now. We want you in here standing up, standing among the pillars <laughs> in beautiful temples where your beautiful heart belongs, your kind spirit, your understanding mind and, and, and aura, your essence. We want you, you need to be amongst the pillars in beautiful, within beautiful temples. And then things begin to change. You fought a little harder. You stood a little stronger. You held on to that rope uh, a little bit harder, a little bit stronger, I'm getting them say. Oh, yeah, a little bit tighter. Yes, you did. And guess what happened? The angel sent light and energy to you. Yeah. They put it inside that rope that you was holding on to for somebody. Oh, yes, they did. And they said it's time for an initiation once you get up there. If you can get up there, they was they was honey, they was clapping, dancing, and performing all kind of ceremonies as you went through the things you went through. I'm talking to somebody that had been through something. That's all I could tell you. This is your initiation now that you done made it up there. It's much more than a change. Okay? That's that foot five there, that four and that one. Or even transformation. Uh that's for somebody. Or even transformation. Okay? It's a movement. That's what it is. Into higher revelations of power and insight and achievement. And it's happening right now. Because it was a part of your Akashic records in a, the whole time. Oh, yeah. That's for somebody. It was a part of the whole time. Oh, yeah. See, your initiation could be aided, like I said, by meditating and studying a lot of things as well. Whether it's, you know, make sure it's what your ancestors give you. That's all I could tell somebody. Because it ain't safe to get pick up people's shit and, and, and let them lead you, your spiritual, uh, a lot of the, the depth, I'm getting them say. Of your spiritual of spiritual things happening in your life where you want comfort. In this season, you got to be the interpreter. That's what I'm getting them saying. In this season, you need to find more ability and more ways to interpret. Okay? Because ain't nothing wrong. It's, it's ain't nothing worse than receiving a word and not being able to interpret it, not being able to understand it. That's not it's nothing worse than that. That's for somebody. That's chaos and confusion. And if you're sitting among some of these messengers where you're getting messages and shit and you ain't understanding that interpretation ain't a certain type of way, then I think, I mean, you need to, if you can't look at it again or whatever, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. Or maybe it was just a harvest 
Because then you have people that are harvest. You have messengers that harvest off of, off of each other. That's for somebody and off of y'all too, collective. Oh, yeah. Go to my last reading. I told y'all. And I ain't got to. I can say it again. They want me to. You got people that'll tell you. Stick your hand out there and different things like that. Those, you know, you're going to get this energy. We're going to transfer this energy and all this type of shit. Whether it be for your healing, for you to get up and walk again, for you to get up and, you know, whatever. For your husband to come back, for your money to come back, right? I don't know. But I'm just saying, be careful. That's for somebody. I'm just hearing them say sometimes, sometimes you got to shake the dust off of some of that shit that come into you. That you get when you're looking for answers. You're looking for comfort. You're looking for a, a divine uh, understanding. That's all I'm saying. That's for someone. Be careful. Protect your energy. That's what I'm getting them say. And the evolution of your Akashic field. Because you got people who want your death. You is upset with you because you wanted your destiny. You didn't want to swap with they motherfucking asses. You understand? You wanted your initiation, God damn it, the way you was going to get it. That's for somebody? No. You didn't want to swap with they ass. So anyway, that power that you hold within you collective, who I'm talking to, okay? It's going to impact every part of your life, okay? As you meditate on certain things again in this season, because you have made it. To a certain level that motherfuckers didn't think you was going to make it to. You you have vibrated so high. And you made it to the top of that mountain. That's what I'm getting them say. It's new heights and power that awaits you. That's what I'm getting them say. Oh yeah. Okay. You lost the lower vibration and shook a lot of the fleas that was trying to attach to you. Yeah. Them pulling, taking spirits. Yeah. You fought through a whole lot of monitoring spirits as well, I'm getting them say, that was there. Yeah, they were there at your job. They were there in your house, in your neighbors, or, or on your block, in your area you live in. It was a, you, I'm just saying, you had issues. They sent, they sent chaos and confusion with you and your kids and for some of y'all family members and other things like that. But see, let me tell you what you did. Let me tell you what you did. You meditated on a brighter day. You knew trouble wasn't going to last always. That's what you did. You understand? And a quickening happened to you. And you said, I know I can get through this. I made it through many, many things before. That's for somebody. I done made it through many, many things before. And you began to have a realization. You understand? That there was no limit to Mighty Master's hand. The unchanging hand. There was no li limit or hindrances. You understand? That would get in your way. Or that could get in your way. Because your shit was a protected. That's what, what it was. You understand me? And even though they're trying to stop these faded meetings that you headed towards having. I'm getting them say. Let me put this uh, thing up here. Yeah. You're headed towards some faded meetings for somebody. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're headed towards some real, real serious faded meetings for somebody. Yeah. Yeah, you headed towards them, and uh, yeah, and they're 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 coming, okay. This for somebody, mhm. Mm and uh, it ain't nothing they can do. This and you don't have to worry. It's coming for you, okay. Your situation is about to approve, okay. And all of that, it's finna happen, yeah. I'm getting them to say big happy changes. That's for somebody. Big happy ones, collective. Yeah, big ones. Look, yeah. Because see, by you meditating on some things and, and things like that, it's going to bring forth some answers. I can't make it up. Yeah. And it's happening in the near future. Yeah. Some things is about to change. Yeah. So I just want you to just trust. Just trust. That's all you got to do. Trust. Okay. Because again, the situation is about to improve. Yeah. So I just want you to ask for help. They want you to ask your ancestors for help. And anybody that you feel you can ask for it from that's that that's in the physical, in the 3D. Okay? That's what I'm getting them say. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. 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 But success. 
it's, it's, it's right there if you just believe. You're going to get it. You're going to find the right people, the right deal. I'm getting them saying, yeah, within the next few months, something is going to, it's, it's going to happen. Yeah. Something is going to happen. It's going to be some recovery because you're ready for it now. You understand? You're ready for it. Yeah. At one time, it wasn't the time before, but it is now. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna receive some help from some people. And it's unlikely that, you know, uh, yeah, it's unlikely that you are uh, going to doubt this and not going to see this breakthrough. But Source is saying, it's up to you. You are going to meditate on a lot of things in the coming up. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to be able to stop this. It's recovery. Yeah. You done got too many signs. You got a lot of signs. You listening to your intuition. That's what's happening. And you got a lot of signs that is something is brewing. Something new is coming up for somebody. We 35, I seen 35, 55 on the clock for somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be some, yeah. Yeah. It's a raise or a promotion that's coming up for somebody. Yeah. Some type of raise, promotion. Uh, 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 it's a level up. That's what I'm getting. It's just a pure level up. And Source is saying congratulations. Yeah. Your ancestors and guides are saying congratulations to somebody. It's an increase in your abundance, in the abundant flow, okay, of something. Whether it's your spirituality for somebody, whether it's your finances for somebody, your love life, something is going to just overflow for you. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting the ascent is a raise, a promotion, some type of initiation is something, you know, but it's definitely a level up and sources saying keep up the good work because it's more that's coming as long as you you meditate on the obedience of, 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 of the word that you're getting. Like I said, I saw Isaiah 22, 22 for somebody. Okay, that's what I saw. Yeah, in this message, when that ascend. Yeah, that's the seven keys. The seven keys that you got after you did something. I don't know what it was. This is for somebody. I mean, you know what you did. You know what you didn't do. Because it could have been something I'm getting. It might have been something that you didn't do. Okay? But them keys was keys given to you by very strong forces. Okay? Isaiah 22, 22 speaks of David. Okay? That's what it speaks of. And laying upon certain keys on his shoulder. That's for somebody. Okay? Some type of responsibility you're about to get. That's all I'm saying in your life. And these are keys of authority. That's what I'm getting. You have the authority. Only you. Have the authority to use them. So can't nobody steal your keys. Can't nobody go on your Kashuk record and take nothing. This I'm getting them say that the path. That we placed in front of you. And the things that you didn't see. Was going to occur. In order for you to get to the top. To ascent. To, to that ascent. On top of that mountain. Was a, was a course that was set by them. You didn't set this place. This pace, I'm getting them saying. You didn't you didn't you didn't set this place, this pace. In other words, you didn't take yourself through none of that. That whole obstacle course. You understand? You don't you didn't know how soft the rock would be in some places. And as you slipped and everything, you took hold on the other side. And I'm just saying you maneuvered your way until you got to the top of that that thing. Yeah. Yeah. You got there. Yeah. I don't know how much way you cleared. I don't know how much way you cleared. But all I know is you didn't clear the way by yourself. And you know it too. Because, again, to get there or to get to that point... It had to be, you had to have some help. I'm just saying, you had, you got to know that. It was faded. 
That's what I'm getting upset. Yeah. It was faded. It was faded. That's what I'm getting them saying. Okay? For somebody, it was, it, I mean, yeah. You just come out of, it, it, this is what it feel like. Let's read that card, that two worlds. I'm interested in that. Let, let me go to that two worlds. Because see, what I'm saying is, I mean, I understand it from, from, from just the, the spiritual feeling, the energy of, of the card, which is, again, you've been through some things. You know, your realities. You know what I'm saying? That meant you you trying to and again trying to keep your mind in a positive place, you know, in a loving place. You understand spiritually balanced. That's what I'm getting with them two worlds and against what people projected, what was projected, or what you could perceive things to be. You understand? Some of it you are seeing it. It is true. It is. I'm getting them say tumultuous things. I'm talking about the setup is real. The games is real. You understand? The judgments is real. The low vibration is real. But you refuse to you refuse to go back down that mountain. You understand? That's an that's a descent. That's a descent. You refuse to descent and drop your 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 integrity, your moral standards, and everything else. You refuse to let allow your essence, your light to be dimmed. By that type of energy. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, you have been rewarded for those things. It's no it's no coincidence that that two worlds, that which is the two of scrolls, y'all. Okay. That's the two again. They were that two again. Just saying. They were that two again. That's for somebody. All right. It's on page 110, which them two ones is a two again. Okay? That's another person. That's for somebody. Okay? All right. Um, yeah. Crazy. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is it's, it's something. Yeah. It's something. I'm just saying. It is something. So 110. That's crazy. I mean, you are the key. Who I'm talking to? You, I'm talking to somebody that's in the energy of the queen of scrolls. That's all I'm saying. You and the queen or the king of scrolls. That's who I'm talking to. Let it resonate. Okay? Let it resonate. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. The two worlds right here. It says, in the upright, surrounded by a spinning wheel. Okay? In the upright, surrounded by a spinning wheel. And, and baskets of wool. A beautiful woman, worried and tired, gazes at the embers in the fireplace. Okay? She has worked hard at her spinning for the coins that are gathered on the table. The expansive window behind her looks out into a Buddhist monastery high in the mountains. When you receive this card, there is a conflict in your life between what the outer world requires of you and how your own spirit directs you. You actually may have had a number of past lives where you wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore joined a monastery to do so. Then missing the wonders that, um, uh, that the secular world could offer, such as love, family, and financial success, you chose the secular world exclusively in your in your next incarnation. Yet, this didn't offer the spiritual focus you also sought. Because of this, it's likely that you bounce back and forth from the monastic 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 wait a minute monastic to the personal in a number of incarnations and through a number of different faiths. You are now again experiencing a polarity. I feel like this is your third round. For who I'm talking to, this your third. This is your third. You you've been in, you've been here twice, at least two times before. This is the third round where now your spirit is 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 thirsty. 
See, you, your, body, your, your whole body is thirsting up after the spirit because you didn't try the flesh already. That's what I'm getting. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you didn't already did that. That wasn't a part of things for you. Lord have mercy. This right here is it's, it's big. It's hidden. It's hidden. I'm getting excited. Yeah. But it's what made you. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. That's why I know you're going to get through certain things. Because you asked to come back. You asked to come do it again. But do it by the spirit instead of the flesh. You asked to go through certain things. And to have certain things happen. In those battles and in those trials and tribulations. Came those past life people. The people that. That 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 shape shift or that whatever it was, they had to come around you to do certain things and cause certain things to happen in your life. You had to meet and see them people and deal with them people because in your past life, they liked that you was fast or they liked that you was a street man or you was this or you was that or you was a street woman or you, you know, wanted the party life or was the life of the party or wanted to do things that was worldly I'm getting. Now, who I'm talking to, you like a, 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 I'm getting them to say, you're not a monk. You're a seeker. You're a seeker of the spirit now. Now, all you, all you, you get excited now about people who vibe higher in thoughts of uh, political equality. You are into uh, things of uh, nature and all of those other things. I'm just saying, you are, you have submitted to your spirit realm. Uh, to the spirit realm and the spirit man, man, your spirit man. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> For somebody, all I'm saying, you owning it now. You are at, you have absolute self real realization in both worlds. You understand? So they they won't re elude you no more. See the illusion. People came. They can't. They can't. They can't tr dangle certain shit in front of you, and think they're gonna control. The narrative. In other words, you're not going to tell me that this is green when I know it's blue. I'm just saying for somebody. In this Akashic field that you living in and vibing in today, you understand the difference between green and blue. I'm just saying. That's for somebody. It's a course that was set this round. So you must have didn't do too bad in your last round when you did have those things. Because in this round, of course, it's been set for somebody. Some things have been cleared. And there's a you have a clear understanding of what's important. It's spirit over flesh. That's what it is for somebody. You have a you have a clear understanding of that in this one. You're experiencing a polarity between your fully self-realized spiritual experience and personal success in your day-to-day -day life, but you're getting it. Again, for somebody you just recently passed a big test. You recently overstood something. And it caused a great initiation or a big time, some type of promotion or something was recognized. That's what I'm getting. You know, understand? And don't think your ops didn't recognize them either because they watching you even though and listening at you. Even though they think you don't see them and they think you don't hear them. But you do. They always listening and watching. Just know that. That's for somebody. Yeah. But you're not worried about that because right now you're dealing with the spirit, right? You're dealing with the self, your spiritual self. You understand? And you're doing that in every situation that you encounter, in, especially in your personal life right now, okay? Like I said, you replacing worry with trust, who I'm talking to. And uh, I'm getting them to say in integrity and, and things like that. You know, with the doubt or the eye, the ego. You ain't you not you not in that that you didn't already experience. I'm getting them say a great ego death already has happened. You had to in order to get there. You had to. That's for somebody. Yeah. 
It ain't the push and the pull no more. That's what I'm getting. I'm saying, yeah. You learn a lot about who you are and about what you want and what you are accepting. Like the boundaries that you have set. Okay, they have become. I'm hearing them say they are part of your temper, temporal lobe now. Yeah, your temporal lobe, your occipital lobe, all your lobes and your and your brain is filled right now. I'm getting them say with a lot of temperance and integrity, uh, self love and and encouragement. You know, it's it's it, you 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 feeling better about a lot of things now that you know that that spirit. You, you operating in the flesh and looking on the outside, you know, of things and, and at certain things, you know, uh, you know, not erasing the, the, the face off of a lot of stuff and seeing it for its core value and its core uh, purpose and reason in your life. You know, you that has done something great for you uh, 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 that you are no longer operating in that physical. That's what I'm saying for somebody. It's done a great, it's been an asset. It's, it is an asset, you know, that you are operating in your spirit realm, in your spirit man. Now, you see that that was the better choice. And you wouldn't have had a lot of problems in that old life that no longer exists in this, in this, in this realm anymore for you. It's over with. You can't go, never go back to that. That's what I'm getting. I'm saying you can never go back to that. You understand? You will never allow anything to impede that the power you have in the spirit, in your spiritual life. It, it it would have kept you from a lot of the woes that you experienced had you been operating in your spirit a long time ago. And you know that. You have found this essence. You have found that truth within. And can't nobody take it from you. Yeah, they want you to be quiet. And they want you to not operate in your in your, you know, your spiritual man. They don't want that because see with that, it's a lot of not just integrity, but you have a lot of boldness in you and courage, a lot of strength. I'm getting mother strength say, yeah. Oh yeah. It's a lot of strength in that. You know, people can't trick you like they used to, you know, you, cause you raising your vibration a certain type of way. Okay. If you in a job or any situation, I want y'all to, I'm getting a uh, spirit say, it don't matter what it is in this season. If it takes you from your spiritual man, if it lessens and weakens your spiritual field, okay? If it weakens your spiritual field, okay? If it brings you back down and cause a descension, okay? Then you have to reevaluate that thing. Get rid of it. I'm just saying. Or you have to set y'all. You got you got to reevaluate it. It got to be some conversation for the ones that can't detach to certain things. From the ones that you know it's not an ending. It's not an end. You know, a permanent end to something. That's what I'm getting. But again, you can't um, you can't elude uh, the realization that it brings you down or it's something that's not edifying. You can't no longer like act like it's it's not there or it's not happening. You're not experiencing it or don't make you feel a certain type of way. Okay? And make sure y'all are evaluating those emotions out there. I'm just saying for somebody. Okay? See you 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 the you you you're no longer operating <laughs> in the secular world. That's what it is. You no longer a part of that. You know, that water, the waterfall right now, see, it's a, that's spirit. Water is spiritual, very spiritual. Okay? And this is where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Where them forces are. Yeah. And I'm getting that six be broken down three times for somebody, just to be a two for somebody, just to come back around. As as a as a as a as in the form of a two for somebody, yeah, yeah, two times three, yeah, that's what I'm getting, yeah, two times three, yeah, that's what I'm getting, oh yeah, for somebody you have a direct message and a direct line to source, 
to channel, to purge, to request, you know, to, you know, just meditate. You know, you have a direct line. It's fated that you meet with him anytime you want, as well as this being a, this is also a, um, somebody trying to call in and fuck up my video. This is also right here, a, a fated meeting. Yeah. See, a relationship is happening that was put together. There's that two again. There go 22 on at some. We're going to take that card. Okay. We're going to take that. And we're going to also clarify. Um, yeah. But I'm just saying, for somebody, divine feminine, divine masculine, the king of scrolls, queen of scrolls, it's the same for, for whoever. This is the result. Okay. This is what them keys is birthing. This is what you're choosing to operate in your spirit, man. See, when you got up there, when you did a lot of the, put a lot of the secular shit down and, 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 and understood a lot, of, a lot of the things that have been, you had experienced getting up there. You was experiencing that whole triumph, I'm getting them say. You experienced this clown. This is what happened. Okay? This is what, this is the result of that. Okay? That's for someone. But yeah, I'm going to take I'm going I want I want to read that as some card because see it's a faded meeting. Somebody is about to get into uh you finna get some help. That's all I can say whether it's a woman or man or whether you are like I said it, 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 uh, this promotion this increase could help even if you're married. If you're a married couple, you know, y'all, you know, him getting a promotion or something or you getting a promotion is going to help y'all. You know, him finding a job or whatever it was. Something happened, but it opened up something uh, that, you know, elevated you or that's going to elevate you. It's coming. That's for somebody. This is good energy right here. Yeah. Yeah. And it, look, this is the number 22 card on page 102 in the book for somebody. That's all ones to them twos. I want somebody to know that. Okay. You possibly been seeing 1111 and 111 for somebody. Or you've been seeing them double twos or triple fives. That's all I can tell you. But it's changed. It's coming and it's good. Archangel Michael is all over it. I'm just telling you. you under the arch with this. Okay. It will not be delayed. Not this time. Okay. Because your ancestors and guides and stuff. And them angels of the most highest divine light. They write over this. And they own power to this. They own power to your Akashic field. I want you to know that. Those are the forces that's there protecting you. Okay? That's telling these people to fuck over such things. To fuck over you or such things that belong to you that was given to them. It's a curse to them. And they in, in, in their inheritance. Which, again, their inheritance could be whatever it is. Whether it's their kids, their family, whoever. They better not mess with you. You're not to be fucked with. That's all I can say. It's for somebody. They've been warned, too. They've been warned, and they know better, okay? You are channeling divine powers of great uh, forces, and, and it's because you are an amazing person in, the, in, in, that, in that field. Yeah, in the force field. Yeah, that's what I'm getting them say. Yeah. You are an amazing poor person in a force field. Yes. That's what I'm getting them say. Yeah. Yeah, an archangel with him, you can move mountains uh, and lift yourself to new heights. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That part. Yeah. See, with them arches that's with you, all them arches that's with you, yeah, you're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to own power. You're going to move mountains and you're going to lift yourself to new heights constantly. Yeah, because again, like I said, you was initiated for this. Yes, you were. That's for somebody? Yeah. It's a part of your spirituality right now because, again, in this life, you 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 you, you understand uh, a lot about the divinity and the divine and spiritual uh, acquisition, I'm getting them say. Entanglement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's for somebody. All right. Let me come on up and finish this for us, y'all. I'm feeling like I can do that in just a minute, but I gotta look at that and some card. Yeah, they want me to see that. Yeah, okay, here it is. 
Okay, for somebody, um, this is this is spirit. This is spirit lifting you upon their shoulders. I can't make this up. Just like this rope is thrown over his shoulder. It's thrown over your shoulder. It was thrown over your shoulder. It's thrown over his shoulder, okay? Spirit has lifted you up to get to this. Yeah. He said put it together. Yeah. And that fell on the paths unknown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 722 possibly can be something for somebody. Mean something to you. Yeah. You present. You and this person in this in the, that you coming into meeting with, y'all going to be present together. Yeah. Yeah. Present for each other and together. Y'all going to arrive at y'all dreams together. You and this person that you fated to meet. Yeah, because you fated to meet somebody. Or you might have already met them. I don't know. You know, you might know them already. But it's fated. It's protected. Okay, you assured that no matter what happens in your life, spirit is always there for you. And this is what he said. And this, this spirit has put this together. Yeah, it's glorious. That's what I'm hearing him say. It's glorious help of the spirit. This union that you're coming in to with this person. Yeah. Yeah, you, it's a part. Yeah, your grandmothers, your grandfather, everybody. Yeah, it's a high. It's been a highest. It's of a, a very high. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, ethereal type of union yeah yeah this is this is faded you're gonna you're, you uh, you are going to be in uh, something ooh very strong that's all I can tell you something finna happen in your life it's assured that's all I can tell you I'm getting them say goals absolutely <laughs> being met yeah yeah. You have arrived. This is this is this is this is something has arrived. It's here. Okay? It's here. If you don't think that it is, it is. It's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's and it's and, and I'm telling you, it's love and light. You finna share that light and power with someone. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is great. Yeah. See with that ascension. Or that ascent, you know, with your perseverance, your obedience in the spirit, you understand it. Spirit over flesh all day in this season. You understand? You believe in what God is telling you, what he going to do. And you ain't letting nobody tell you that he can't do it. Because you know he can do all things. That's Philippians, through Christ that strengthens you. Perhaps your name is Philip. Perhaps you understand Philippians. Perhaps you do. Perhaps you stand on that scripture. That's powerful in your life. All things God can do. You understand in that. You have that knowledge. It's that spiritual third chance you've been given. When you came here again as an earth angel. I'm talking to an earth angel. Yeah. That's who I'm talking to. Somebody in the community of those kings of forces. Those with the scrolls. That's what I'm getting them say. Our life's helpers. That's what I'm getting them say. The ones that don't have maybes. They don't know nothing about maybe. Now when you operating in your higher self. I'm hearing them say everything is figure outable with them. That's what I'm getting. You have arrived. That's what I'm, I'm hearing. This right here assures it. You have arrived. Look at your ancestors in the background of this card. Do you see them talking to you? they like, you have arrived. they all there. They're going to grandmother in the background. This is a spiritual union, a spiritual initiation. This is a very spiritual initiation right here. Okay? This is a very spiritual initiation for somebody. Yeah, it is. And a very spiritual union, too. Because I, I, you, you got to know if you went through all you had to go through to get where you are. This is for someone else. If you're going through things and making sacrifices that other people is questioning, you know, do you miss this? Do you miss that? How could you do? I mean, it's just, 
It's exciting. Your life is exciting to other people because they don't understand it because they're not operating in the essence that you are in. They don't have the assignment over their life that you have. You don't think you better than nobody because you know God is no respect of persons. He don't give a damn what you didn't experience. What the fuck you got? He don't care what you live in. What kind of car you drive or whatever. What you eat every day. He say I'll make you high and I can make you low. I'll take everything you got. And I'll give you more. It's up to him. Like I said. That Akashic field baby. I don't care how good of a magician. A person think they are. How much standard they think they can set. And how many contracts. They can draw up for somebody to sign. Whether it's in the spiritual or the physical. Ain't nothing getting past God when it's locked. I'm just saying. When he put it down, what he put forth, ain't no man going to take under. You understand? He is the force of all. I'm talking about the wind, the rain, and the stars, and the moon, and everything else. And when he tell the traveler that I'm going to guide you in the night in your nighttime hours, I'm going to give you light. That's what he mean. And ain't nobody supposed to shed no darkness on you. They ain't supposed to set no traps on you and try to see if they can come up with something. Some Mickey Ficky or whatever the fuck they use. You know, they, they bullshit, they tactics. That's what I'm getting, I'm saying. To try to stop you. But in this season, you have arrived. And a lot of your dreams, it's what you believe now. It's what you meditate on. Immediately when you start feeling certain energies to come up out of it, you tell it. I denounce it. I send it back. I make it fall down. This don't belong to me. And you get up out of it. You understand? I'm just saying. Know that you're on your way to the results that you seek with the help of your ancestors and those glorious ones. Uh, the help that's in the spirit. That's for someone. Spirit is always there for you. Because right now, that's all you know. You don't know nothing else. You understand? Your ancestors are reaching out to you in this season. They waited on you and you finally arrived. And now you've been given blessings and you seeing things, the truths and shit like that for what it is. And people want you not to see it and want you to act. Get, they want you to go get back your blessings or get in a situation where they can steal them again. Right? With that aha, aha motherfucking finger they got. Right? That's for somebody? Yeah. But see your grandmothers and everything in the spirit realm. Them ones that's millions of years old. They stirring up the pot on their ass. Right? That's what they doing. They stirring something up for them this time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They understand that they want to stay in that noodle brain type of thinking. So guess what they done did? They done took their brains and put it in a goddamn pot. I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, we done put the brains in some hot water. That's what we done did. And we stirring them motherfuckers up like noodles. You understand? We going to serve it to the pigs. They keep coming for some of y'all. For somebody 108 on the clock. Oh, yeah. That part. That's a nine. Oh, yeah. They going to close it up. You understand? And they are in charge. For somebody, little steps, I'm getting them say just little steps is going to take you to your destination. Just don't give up. Oh, yeah. We talking quantum goddamn entanglements. That's in charge of this shit. Oh, yeah. They in charge of it. And they ain't letting nobody block you, collector. Don't even worry about it. They not letting them block you. Divine film and mass, not in this season. They're going to have to find another way. They're going to block themselves. And every time they come against y'all, I'm getting them say, we're going to give their ass a distraction. Oh, yeah. Y'all, we're going to take a spirit message and I'm going to close it out for y'all. I thank y'all for being with me today. I really do. I wish y'all much peace, love, and divine guidance and protection today as y'all go through uh, the rest of the day. You know, yeah, I ask y'all for y'all to, you know, stay in y'all, stay in y'all divine oracle. That's all I can get. Give y'all, and who I'm talking to, you done already chose spirit. You done chose spirit. And so for a motherfucker want to know if they can put stuff in your life, obstacles in your life, uh, have you projecting weeks and months from now what might happen and this, this and that, you know. 
uh, prolonging things and stuff like that. No, you're gonna you you on the journey, baby. And I'm getting them say straight to success. What you going through right now, what's happening in your life, if you don't have all the fuck the, what you need and all that, don't even worry about it. Source is going to make a way. I'm getting them say, when I close one door, I open 20 more for you in this season. Just know that. When one is shut, I'm opening up four or five more of them. Don't worry about it. You understand? Because it's going to see people. It's going. I'm hearing them say that, that we see the people that want to see you as something that you're not and we see the people that see you for who you are we see them and those are the ones in this season we're gonna bring you closer to and gonna bring closer to you and everybody else they're gonna have to stand the fuck back and look on the outside that's what they're gonna have to keep doing keep on going trying to go into your sleep state and all this type of shit keep on following you and shit and trying to talk to the people they think you connected to so they can find out what the fuck they gonna do or what they ain't gonna do or try to convince them not to do certain things to help y'all but y'all don't have to worry about that because y'all help is in heaven that's for somebody your help is with them divine most highs light God light beings that's where you help at. That's for somebody. Let's turn these over. Fix these the right way. Yeah. That's where it's at. It's with them. Yeah. It's right with them. We're going to take this one. It says slack the one on the bottom. Here it is. There it is. Instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop, breathe, and reevaluate. What I tell y'all, it's all about meditating. Y'all got to meditate on certain shit. So certain things can come in closer to you. I'm getting them say you are doing enough. That's what I'm saying. You're doing enough. Like I said, you done made it to certain heights. You done did a lot. You understand me? Don't let nobody tell you you ain't doing shit to deserve nothing. Be proud of your journey. This is for somebody. Be proud of the balance and what you choose to embellish yourself in in your mind. Instead of the things that you, the former things, the old shit you used to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, for somebody, you looked at old pictures and videos today. I'm just saying, for somebody, that's what you did. You looked at old pictures and videos today, and you and you deleted shit. And you laughed at stuff, and certain things made you cry. I'm just saying, you look back at, at the bottom of the hierarchy, the bottom of the, I'm getting them to say the bottom of the, of the mountain. You looked at all of the, at a lot of things. You keep doing that. You reevaluating shit. You seeing who was for you, who made it hard, who did this, who if you brought back in your life, how it would make you feel, what you would have to do, what's the possibilities. You evaluating shit. Motherfuckers want you sleep again too, but you're not going. You're not going back. I'm just saying. Source don't want you to wear yourself out with with the shit you didn't already heal from. That's all I'm telling you. So be careful. Don't let it back in your energy. That's for somebody. Don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. You understand me? Source got this. It is not worth it. Balance your time more wisely with certain things. That's for somebody. In other, in other words, for who I'm talking to, you didn't already did that. Yeah. Here it is. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. That was the one up under it. Your life is about to start moving quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention the most. Make decisions rationally but sensibly. I can't make it up. That goes back to this. That goes back to this. Reevaluating. The first one. The first spirit message for somebody. Okay? It's a spirit message for you. All right. Some things is finna go quickly for somebody. I can't make it up. Source wants you to trust. It's rational thinking. You gotta listen to your intuition too in this season. Okay. Meditation is gonna bring answers, a lot of them, and a lot of big happy changes. Source is saying yes to you today. Because you chose a new direction. You chose recovery. 
This is what's happening in this season. Recovery. This is why you're experiencing certain blessings. It's recovery from a lot of shit that was stolen and taken from you in the first goddamn place. A lot of people that snaked your ass. That part. I can't make it up. They snaked the fuck out of you. Yeah, but some romance is finna hit real strong for somebody. That's a part of your recovery too. Yeah, yeah, it's here. I'm getting them saved. Within the next few weeks, yeah, you're going to be in a strong re a, 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 a relationship some type of way. I'm just saying, all that unsuccessful shit you done had and experienced in the past, you ain't going to experience that with this person. This person going to be able to communicate very clearly what it is that they want. That's right. And they, gonna, they also coming to help improve your situation and theirs. You understand? It wasn't the right time when it wasn't the time. Or when it wasn't happening. It wasn't the right time. You understand? Now I'm getting them say the time the, this is a this is a time of success and recovery and big happy changes in your life. You understand? That's what I'm getting them say. And that's why it's happening now. You listen to your intuition. You knew it was something better. And you waited. You said no to that low vibrational ass shit. You knew it was unlikely. Yeah. That that stuff was going to serve you. Any of it was going to edify you. Any of them relationships and them people was going to be uh, on the up and up. Yeah. 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 You stay in the square for a reason, baby. Yeah. You look like one. You acting like one. Whatever the fuck it is, you ain't going back to that bullshit. You choosing your spirit over your flesh. Now, you done with that. You done with all of that chaos and turmoil. You know, that goddamn tennis war energy. The motherfuckers that want to put stab you in your goddamn back all the time. Right. Them ones. Yeah. Yep. I'm getting them say the light of the world. The light of the world is over you right now. Yep. And you, you decide. And guess what? I like that energy. That's the type of energy I need in my life. And you focusing on your priorities. That's what you focusing on. You understand? You putting your focus where you going to receive a, a good outcome. That's what you're doing. That's in love. That's in life. That's in finances. That's in all of it. That's what you're doing. Your priorities is calling to you. You see what I'm saying? And you focusing on those things instead of the things that that's just, uh, it's, it's nothing. You know, it's nothing. It's trouble. It's trouble. It's, it's, it's depression. It's all of that. That's what, that's what it is. You understand? You want to produce Feelings of uh, 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 of success and feelings of being an overcomer, not anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Worthlessness and things like that. You don't need no attention from a lot of people. You ain't looking for no attention from no motherfucking body. That's what I'm getting them say. You already got the attention, I'm telling you, of, of very high uh, uh, beings in, in your life. See, you focused, I'm getting them say, on the things that you cannot see. See what I'm saying? Which is your faith. You on that right now. Those are the energies that you deserve and that's what you're being given. Again, it's a part of the initiation. You understand? Even the smallest things right now, you grateful for. That's what I'm getting. That's for somebody? Yeah, it ain't for everybody. You devoted to a lot of things that's priority right now. You understand? I don't care if you working. A nine to five. You devoted to that, that thing right now. Because again it centers around. A lot of your dreams and your ambitions. A lot of things that you need to do. And you want to do. So you were saying you know what. I don't care about Friday night. I'm going to pick up a few hours on, on Saturday. Or I'm going to go in on another job. Or whatever on this day or whatnot, So that I can make it work. So it will be worth my while as well. So that I can make some things happen and take care of some things. When you ain't got nobody helping you but God Almighty. Only person that's presenting you with these opportunities. I want you to know this. Because see you don't even know the people that's giving you the opportunities. That's the first thing. You, for some of y'all, y'all don't even know how y'all got into a abundant, this abundant state of being all of a sudden. You don't even know how you got there. For some people, it's just now coming in. You're getting it back again. This is recovery. You had it, you lost it, and now it's coming again. That's for somebody. That's what I'm getting. See, you feeling better about things and stuff like that, and your confidence is increasing. So it's making a lot of things, the universe turn to you a certain type of way. You understand? You being, you being, you being considered. 
That's what I'm getting them say in a lot of ways. You understand? You know what you deserve. That's, a, that's what I'm getting them say. You know what you had. You know what you done. You know what you experienced. You know what, what, what it was. You know now. That's what I'm getting them say. That knowledge is there. But see, you know what you deserve. And that's the whole thing that you focused on now. What you deserve. You understand? Not what you want even. Not even that. It's what you deserve. That's what you focused on. And you ain't going to let nobody decrease you, your motherfucking worth because they worthless ass people. Or they don't give a fuck about what they got or what they want. They don't care. You understand? They don't care about you. They don't care about nobody. All they care about is they self and how somebody look at them. What somebody think about them. But sources congratulating you. Sources congratulating you because you have a scent going on in your life right now. You have increased in your spiritual abundance, which has increased you financially, emotionally, and all of the others. For some of y'all physically, and for the ones that isn't in the best physical health right now, guess what? You know the health is wealth. And as you get better income and better money and things out of the way, pay some bills off and stuff like that, you're going to be able to have time, I'm getting them say, to fix you a healthy meal. You're not going to be on that, that type of time where you got to run and stop and grab a hamburger or get a this or get a that. No, you will be able to eat healthier. That's for someone. Yes, it's coming together. Okay? And I'm getting them say that person that you finna, that's going to assist you, male or female, take it where it resonates, they are going to help you with your health too, with recovery as well. They're going to help you get physically fit. You understand? Because they are. That's what I'm getting them say. Yeah. They got a nice body. Yeah. 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 You're going you're gonna to experience some type of change in the things that you do that's creating probably 90% of your income that is, 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 is wild. You moving. You going. You going. From here, you going to there. You punching out, punching in, punching out. You That's going to change. That's what I'm getting them say. That is about to change. You just have to persevere. You done made it to the top of that mountain. You done clammed it up. You done did some things so you can get there. So now you just got to be patient. And allow life's purpose. Your Akashic force field. To be revealed and to be manifest for you. Okay. You being supported. That's what I'm getting them say. Each step of the way. You being supported. Your passions is being supported. Your dreams is being supported. Okay? That's for somebody. Okay? You moving in a higher direction with positive changes that's going to help support your dreams and stuff. Okay? That's for someone. All right, guys. Y'all have a good time. 122 on the clock. And I just saw 44 seconds. But we got 122, 40, 50 right now on the clock. And I want y'all to have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you and God bless.